after NASA split Hubble's third servicing mission into two parts to allow astronauts to get to Hubble as soon as possible to replace failing gyroscopes, which are needed to point the telescope accurately. Servicing mission 3A successfully got Hubble back up and running until servicing mission 3B could launch and complete all of the planned upgrades to Hubble. But even in times of ease, the unexpected can make an appearance again. Houston, uh, Columbia for EVA. Go ahead, Columbia, we're listening. Okay, uh, as we put on the mini workstations, I'm uh, monitoring John's suit, and there's a large bit of water down here at the bottom of the battery I'm fixing to open up now. Something unexpected like a spacesuit failure. Yeah, Scooter, we're going to have to get uh, John out of the suit. And of course, these things always happen at the worst time, too. Hubble is without a heartbeat. Servicing missions are what make Hubble, Hubble. For over two decades, servicing mission astronauts have been able to take advantage of Hubble's malleable design. Being able to upgrade and refurbish parts periodically is how Hubble has been able to stay on the bleeding edge of astronomical science. And servicing mission 3B was no exception to that fact. We're providing a major upgrade in terms of science capability. We're adding a new science instrument and we're bringing back to life the infrared camera. And we're making important upgrades in terms of maintenance. Where we're adding new solar arrays and we're changing up the power control unit. 40% of the highest impact subjects that Hubble has, has uh, highest impact results that Hubble has achieved were totally unexpected before Hubble was launched. And I expect that five or seven years from now, Hubble will be working on subjects that we can't anticipate today. We don't even know how to ask the questions today. And with the anticipation of those unknown discoveries building, servicing mission 3B was scheduled to launch in the spring of 2002, ready to make its mark on the stars. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia to broaden our view of the universe through the Hubble Space Telescope. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the Pioneer shuttle headed for the Hubble Space Telescope. Houston, we have uh, Hubble on our arm. With the Hubble Space Telescope fully grappled, it was time to get to work. The service mission was going to encompass a wide range of upgrades and improvements, so every minute of this 12-day mission was meticulously planned in order to complete the five scheduled spacewalks. First up, replace the old solar arrays with the new and improved version 3 of the solar array system. These new solar arrays were rigid and didn't roll up like previous designs. Being more robust, it made Hubble's power intake increase by about 20 to 30%. Solar Ray 3 has passed its functional test and ready to support. Next on the list, replacing the power control unit. This is Hubble's power switching station responsible for distributing all the electricity generated by the arrays and batteries and sending it to the other parts of the telescope. And in order for the power control unit to be replaced, it required Hubble to be completely powered down for the first time. And one of the cardinal rules in the business of space is if it's working well, don't turn it off. During the systematic shutdown process, astronauts John Grunsfeld and Rick Lenahan were suiting up to tackle the next spacewalk. However, John's spacesuit began to take on water from the liquid coolant system. Not the most ideal situation to happen right before stepping out into the cold void of space. With only a certain amount of time to react, since parts of Hubble were already shut down, Grunsfeld's crewmates quickly resized another spacesuit in order to get the spacewalker out in time before the whole spacewalk had to be canceled. And a late but hopefully powerful start. With things back on track, the heart of Hubble, the power control unit, was successfully changed out after a meticulous seven-hour spacewalk. Next was to install the advanced camera for surveys. 
This camera would allow Hubble to capture wider vistas of the universe at a higher resolution than ever before, allowing us to study weather patterns on other planets and understand how the universe evolved. And finally, the astronauts of Servicing Mission 3B were able to bring one of Hubble's most critical instruments, called NICMOS, back to life after it had been dormant for two years. They achieved this by installing a cryocooler for its infrared detectors, once again unleashing Hubble's power to peer into the invisible infrared universe. Servicing Mission 3B proved that NASA can take on the unexpected head-on as a team, accomplishing historical strides in our understanding the universe around us. And from the crew of STS-109, we've did Hubble well on its new journey with its new tools to explore the universe. Good luck, Mr. Hubble.